Coming into YouTube as a black man, coming from Philadelphia, one of the blackest cities in America, I had to really learn that all black people wasn't the same. All black people didn't think the same. All black people experiences with white folks or experiences with each other wasn't the same. And I would get into a lot of arguments because I couldn't understand when a lot of black men would come and down black women or talk down on black women or say that they don't date black, they don't date black women at all. I, I just couldn't fathom that in my mind coming from Philadelphia where I see nothing but black people, seas of black people everywhere, right? I didn't understand black women talking down on black men to the point where they didn't want to date black men at all. Because in a city like Philadelphia and West Philly, North Philly, South Philly, the black neighborhoods, you don't really see that kind of stuff offline. But when I came to YouTube, I got a rude awakening and I had to adjust my way of thinking to black people abroad and everywhere, just all across the country. And I learned that we wasn't the same. And I saw stuff like this. Check this out. Why I do not date or take black women serious. And it's not because I don't want to talk or date or not take them serious. It's because on average, okay, your typical black woman will call me unattractive. Okay, so she calls me unattractive, but yet all the other races of women, immediately they fall in love with me. They, they love my personality, my character, the way I move, my intellect, how I do things. But the black woman, all she sees is in her mind, cornball, he, 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 see, then is, is, there is no in between. There is no gray area with the black woman. Okay. So if there's no gray area, I either have to be a thug or I have to be like an, a super white man, like a black man that's white. And if I'm neither one of those two things, I'm in the gray area. And if you're in the gray area with the black woman, you don't exist. She does not see you. And, 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 and just, uh, adjusting to this, I start seeing men, black men, in certain spaces start predicting by 2030 and, and going forward what would the uh, black community would be if black men keep dating out, uh, talking about the, the, the state of black women. They were saying stuff like this. Black dating market look like, TJ. What does that look like by 2030? In seven years, six years and just a few months. If, if, if black men continue to leave, I'm talking about black men between the, you're talking about basically black men between ages of 25, 55 or something like that. They continue to leave and continue to go out. I don't know what the hell's going to happen. I mean, 75% of black women are single already. Yeah. Yeah. They're already single. So I, I don't know what that looks like if there's not a, 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 you know, an awakening. And I actually think if we, something extreme has to happen. Yep. It, in order to shock these ladies into and 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 here's the thing, they keep talking about like these guys going out and going out of the country as and and a lot of them are calling these guys broke. I don't know if you don't if you guys ain't, ain't really paying attention to the data. Even uh, black women hold more degrees than any other group in the country. Yep, sixty four percent of 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 uh, bachelor degrees are gotten by black women, but yet. Black women, on average, still only earn about $36,000 a year. But then is, did I talk about what the video is about because it segues into Fresh and Fit. And Fresh and Fit comes on to YouTube and creates a space where a lot of black men that think this way uh, had, a, 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 I guess, a safe space where they can come and they can be, they can, you know, espouse the anti-black women way of thinking. And everything outside of being black or, or, or dealing with black families is better. And... Uh, he went, uh, Fresh and Fit went on to say cheese and they were questioning about their um, talking points on black women. Uh, say cheese questioned them on this. And this is what um, they had to say. Check this out. Let's, get, let's, let's go, you know, let's get to the elephant in the room. Um, y'all's most viral moment to me was y'all saying y'all don't date black women. <laughs> was, was that, no, 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 seriously, was that like a troll or that's really how y'all feel? Okay, so let me, get, let me get some context, right? So what happened was, we have a show, right? A live show on YouTube where people donate money to the show. So one of the uh, donators, they said, hey, we, there's an app called Blacks. Do you guys use the app? And we're like, Blacks? Man, the experience that we have with Blacks isn't that good. And we see mainly, I want to say, Lashana's and Shanique was on the app. I want to just like, you know, come in and smash. So that whole context was like, okay, the app itself, we didn't find high quality Black chicks there. So we're just saying, hey, man, real talk, we don't dabble in the dark because in that sense, we don't. So we're, we're, we're talking mainly about the app. 
And even so, regarding girls, bro, like, if the girl's cool, she's a cool vibe, it's different. But most of the chicks, bro, we don't do it. And see, these guys give their reasons for why they wouldn't date black women. And they're talking about the ghetto and the ratchetness and all the kind of stuff that's so-called associated with the black woman, as if all of these women don't partake in these behaviors. But the thing that gets me is the very thing that they're complaining about the black woman or the pookies and ray rays, when they go outside of the black woman, they take that same behavior that they're accusing uh, black people of to these other communities. They're making babies and don't want to take care of the babies. They're boldly, proudly uh, uh, confessing on camera about what they do to these other women. And But the matter of fact, you know, with no more shenanigans, let's just look at what they say, uh, what they do with these women. Because remember, they don't date black women. So let's look at what they do with these women that they date. What's the worst thing you guys have done to a girl? Oh. So if you guys know Tom Likas, there's some, something called the Hail Mary. Yeah. And like, oh, um, shit. Basically, you about to tell this story? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's okay, do so it. basically, right? I was with this chick and we were kind of like fizzling out. It wasn't working out. But she got pregnant. And then um, <laughs> I kind of told her like, yo, we can work this out. Don't worry about it. But we can't have kids right now. <laughs> and then um, I did the Hail Mary. And now I'm here. No, oh. tell them what the Hail Mary is. Tell them what the Hail Mary is. <laughs> <laughs> tell them what it is. Okay. Go all the way. Okay, okay. So the Hill Mary is the first example, right? Where like you tell the chick what she wants to hear, and uh, you have kids later on. You make her get an abortion. You take her at take her at McDonald's, get a McGriddle, and an orange juice. You sit her down. You tell her about life, and uh, you started this happen, and you, you never see her again. Hey. Wait. <laughs> See, I titled this, your mama is black, but you refuse to date black women. And again, like I said in the beginning of my video, I understand that black people don't all live in the same place. So you may have black people that may grow up deep in the suburbs somewhere and they grew up around predominantly white people. And they may date white and marry white and you may have the Carlton effect. That happens. That happens. And I'm not going to call them the, uh, uh, a sambo or a sellout and all that kind of thing. They're a product of their environment, right? And you have black people, men and women, that may um, date outside their race, but that don't mean that they hate their people. But then when you have people that talk about, I only date exclusively white or non-black men or non-black women, that's coming from some, some somewhere else, a trauma. It's something going on there. There's, there's um, some type of trauma or pain and what i've noticed is um they take that same type of trauma and behavior over to the communities that they date you know that they actually date in and you can see that to fresh fresh comes from a single mom right and when you see his behavior now he's out uh slanging and banging and having fun but making babies and saying that they're, they're throwing alley hoops and they don't want to take care of the babies and he wants them to get rid of the babies you know, he he's a product of uh, the environment that he raised up in. And now he's taking that all that garbage and foolishness over into other groups. And they're looking at uh, that. That's just the black man. No, that's fresh. That's fresh. See, he he has trauma where he wants to run away from being black or the black community or 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 any of that. But because he's never dealt with himself, the individual where wherever you go, there you are. He's still that same person, whether he's dealing with an Asian woman, a white woman, an Arab woman. He's still the same old fresh. He just came to YouTube where he can be the butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker. He can have a following, right? Of people that's just like him. But they're still the same old people. But let's look at what uh, uh, Daisy Chin and the conversation they, that, you know, that they had when he got her pregnant. He go right back into that same old crap that he talk about the black woman or the Pookies and Ray Ray. Let's listen to this Pookie. I want the baby because I, I don't want to kill the baby. I don't want to kill nobody. I don't want to. You're not. They just give you a pill and it's over. No. No. I'm pregnant. No, but that's what I'm saying. The pill, they just give it to you from a doctor and then you're good. I am pregnant. I can't pretend like nothing happened. I can't. In my religion, we don't kill. You're not killing. Okay. I want to keep the baby. So as you see it, Fresh is the type of man that doesn't offer any value to any woman. 
of any race because he's just not a good person. And when you see the migrant crisis coming into America, there's many men and women that's coming over these borders just, just like him. And they're bringing all their garbage and foolishness over into the United States. And this is why you see immigrants that came here and did it legally. They're actually siding with the people here saying we don't want them here because they got away from a certain segment or a certain group that they don't want to be around. It don't mean that they hate their people. They just hate certain, they just dislike certain segments or people within their group. And they want to separate themselves from it. They came on to YouTube talking about the black woman and the Pookies and Ray Rays, but they're the very people that they're complaining about. His behavior uh, uh, shows that he's actually those people. But he was able to garner a following because in our community, so many, so many of our people hate each other, hate ourselves. We have so much self-hate when they hear him talk. Oh, I can agree with that. But then when you see his behavior, he's an enemy to his own message. An enemy to his own message. And he offers no value to no women because he don't even offer value to his own self. But with that being said, I'm going to cut this video short here. Leave your comments in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think. And any of you fools out there that want to defend him after all the things that he said, something wrong. You need to re-examine your brain. You need to re-examine your brain. Because what he's doing is, is the very thing of Pookie and Ray Ray behavior. But leave your comments in the comment section. Subscribe to Street Media TV. If you made it that far in this video, hit that like button. And make sure you guys are supporting our nonprofit Urban Nerds Foundation. You, uh, 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 Urban Nerds Worldwide is our YouTube channel. Make sure you guys are supporting the movement that we're doing uh, for inner city youth. And remember, I love y'all. Until the next time, peace.